My goal with this 1998 Toyota Tacoma has been to keep it looking like a nice, proper 90s era 4x4. And the part that I have today that we're putting on, I think is going to continue to push this 98 Tacoma into that 90s era look even further. The part that we're installing today is for the front end of the truck. And uh, before I really get into installing it, I need to do something very important first. I'm going to be finishing up a little bit more of the buffing and polishing with the buffer and I've got some Caranuba wax. So what I wanna do is hit the entire hood while I don't have any modifications on it. And then we'll get into the mods. I'm running towards the end of my wax here, so I'm having to use my fingers, which is most definitely not the recommended way to do this. But, you know, it's an old 90s truck. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's gonna be great. Paint's gonna look better than it did before. That's all that matters. I'm gonna wet the pad just a little more. And I'm gonna start on this side, work my way there. Just my methodology, don't know if it's right, but I tap the wax on the panel, the section that I wanna cover first. I drop my buffer down to level three or speed three. It's got one through six, six being the fastest. So we go right about middle. And I'm gonna use setting three to basically just move all the paste around and make sure the wax is evenly coated. And then we move to six and start polishing it. Okay, so I think I'll be able to do this entire thing in three steps. So I've done to this windshield sprayer here, and then I'm gonna do the space in between the nozzles, and then I'll do the space across from that driver's side windshield washer nozzle. And that should allow me to do this whole hood in about three sections. Okay, so here it is. Might have some guesses. If you think you know, put it down in the comments. I'll wait. Cease waiting. Now, see if you're right. So this shiny thing, as I'm sure you can tell, it's going to be one of these guys. I don't even know the hood deflector. Is that it? Don't, don't know the proper name, but it's hella 90s. So I've never um, installed one of these before. Can't be too hard. Ah, uh, we've got some branding. Yeah, that's gonna have to go. Sorry, cool product, don't want your branding. There it is. It's gonna sit something like that. Some holes on the bottom. I'm really hoping this comes with mounting tape but also that I can maybe use some factory holes on the underside of the hood to properly adhere this thing. So well, I think there's instructions. Let me take a look. Opening up the uh, goodies here, we've got four plastic little uh, screws, I guess you could call them that. Just these ones. So we've got four of those and the directions say that this, this thing isn't even supposed to use tape. It's supposed to just use factory mounting holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood on the truck and then we'll start lining things up and see how this is actually going to work because I'm not too confident yet. All right, let's see what we've got underneath the hood. Okay, I actually already see, I think, what it's talking about. So I'm assuming it's actually gonna mount to these holes up here on the edge of the bonnet. Um, I think best option here would be to try and just hold the piece up there, see what might or may not line up. Okay, so this guy is going to sit on there like that. Don't line up. Yeah, that one lines up, that one lines up, that one lines up. This one does not line up. They're close, but they're not perfect. So I may have to re-drill into the plastic here to make new ones. 
But I think I should, I can definitely put these two in here, which would at least center me on this, this whole thing. So that way when I'm drilling new holes up there, at least I know it's centered. So I'm gonna take this back off and I'm gonna grab the two screws and put those in. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way yet, just cause I'm not totally sure where this is gonna sit. I'll put the second one in. Make sure I wanna get that really tight. And you know what, now that I'm looking at it, this hole actually lines up pretty good right here. So I'll put this one in. And that gives us three out of the four. So I think I may just have to redrill one hole. Not too bad, especially for just an Amazon product that is probably mass produced. They're not all gonna be perfect. I'm sure quality control is uh, the best. But no worries, that's what a little ingenuity is for. So we're gonna take the good work they've already done, which is three out of four. We're just gonna fix this last one. So let me show you real quick. We've got one screw on the end here. We've got one right there, one on the other side of the hood latch. And this is the tricky one that is uh, not really wanting to line up. If I drill out the plastic, it may compromise the whole point of the screw because the hole's too big. I was hoping it'd be so far off that I could just drill a whole new hole next to it, but I may not be able to do that. Here in Tennessee today, it's probably 80, 85 degrees, 80% plus humidity. As you can tell, I've picked up a, uh, what a pop-up tent, if you will. This little like nine by nine or 10 by 10 foot pop-up, which just provides shade. I mean, really it's not a garage, it's not our true workspace, but it provides shade. And if it happens to rain in the future, I can hop under that and still maybe keep the cameras dry, maybe keep myself dry, depending on how I'm feeling on that day. But it's hot and uh, you know, it just makes, when stuff like this doesn't go exactly like it's supposed to, it just makes it a little bit harder. That's all right, keep wrenching away. We'll get it, uh, we'll get it on there. A little more aggressive than I wanted that to be. I clipped the metal just a wee bit, but I think I've successfully created a notch. That'll work. We'll just go ahead and tighten up all the other ones now that we have the fourth one all set. Okay, I have to say, seems a little flimsy still. Now that we've got all four of these things on, nice little factory defect there. Now that we've got all four screws in, into the factory holes, it didn't have to drill into the hood at all, minus my little drill bit clip of the hood, it's fine. No one will ever know. But we have all four in, and I'll be honest, it's, it does seem like it's on there. It's probably never gonna fall off, and I'm willing to give it a shot, but I do see myself in the future probably taking these out and running double-sided sticky tape all along this here, and then putting in these once more, possibly with even metal, I don't know, metal screws that would fit into the, the hood a bit nicer, but I also don't want to damage the hood. We're going for OEM plus here. So I think, I think I'm pretty happy. Let's go ahead and drop it down and see what it looks like. I'm also a little worried that it's gonna hit something, but I guess, see, I don't know, is that, is that normal? There it is. I'll be honest, guys, it's not quite as cool as I was hoping it would be. It's pretty cool looking, I, I am happy with it. It's a, it's a good upgrade, but um, I don't love that it ends before the fender. I thought I was gonna like that it ended right on the, uh, right on the edge of the hood there. But actually, now that I'm seeing it, there is one that was offered that extends a little bit and it covers up that fender a hair. I don't know. Maybe it's just gonna grow on me. Maybe I gotta step back and look at it from further away. Put down in the comments, what do you guys think? Does it suit the truck? Does it look silly? Oh, check it out guys, there's a little mole friend. There's a mole under that leaf. You see him poking his head out? put my thinking cap on. I feel better about it already. Even just moving the truck into a different spot allows me to just look at it a little differently. And even like doing something as simple as like rotating the tires, I'm like, ooh, the, the black tires actually contrast the hood deflector. It's, it's kind of nice. And again, guys, I have a long-term vision here. I feel like this is gonna look a lot better when this 
isn't on the truck anymore. This year, I'm hoping to do two bumpers. Obviously, I have no rear bumper on, but we're gonna make a two bumper for the back, two bumper for the front to replace this OEM one. Looks terrible, in my opinion. It's just like a giant fat lip. <laughs> it's ugly. And some tube sliders to keep the truck a little bit safer, body damage-wise, when I'm actually doing some wheeling. The vision's there. I just, uh, I need to get a little bit further down the road to kind of complete that vision, but you guys see how it looks for now. Put a comment down below, let me know what you think as is, and then also maybe some recommendations, like what would tie the truck together a little bit better. I look forward to hearing everything you guys have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Might be a little bit quick, but uh, in the next few videos, we're gonna be diving into the Prelude and also doing some engine work on the Tacoma. So if you're interested in either Prelude, I mean, it, shoot, if you're interested in cars, hang around. Uh, with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next one. Keep elevating, adios, all that good stuff. Bye-bye. But I've still got 10